Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to another list build. Uh, this one is for another mid-war German book, Iron Cross. It's going to be fairly similar as uh, formations to the Africa Core book that we've looked at, uh, but some of the support options uh, for the list are going to be slightly different, um, reflecting um, the Eastern Front rather than uh, the desert. So let's delve into it, go into order of what it is in the book. So we'll be going up to the Panzer uh, IV company first. Okay, so as with Africa Corps, the Panzer IV's got a nice little points reduction and able us to actually use this formation a little bit better. So we have the HQ with uh, two Panzer IVs upgraded to long barrels. Uh, we then have another unit upgraded to long. We have a unit with no upgrades, so that means they, they can fire as artillery. And we also have four Panzer IIs uh, to go with them as well. So probably allow the Panzer IIs and the Panzer IVs with the longs um, 40 points for reserve um, because uh, that we lose our uh, be a head unit, uh, we also have the light scouts. We also have a heavy AA platoon, um, so some long range anti tank, and we have a Panzer Grenadier platoon. Couldn't afford the little anti tank gun, but that's seven teams there, and uh, one point spare, giving us a bit of pure luck. So here we have the Panzer IV, it's uh, good ratings all around, uh, confident, careful veteran, it's also got a great last stand and remount, good front armour for mid war. Um, and when it's upgraded to the long barrel, 80, 10, 3 plus, uh, decent, and it's got a good range. And of course, if you don't upgrade this, 87, so not that great. Remember, if you're on the eastern front, you're probably going to be up against a fair few T-34s. That's not going to cut it. Um, but you can fire it as a template weapon instead. The Panzer II is uh, back in the running with this list, um, so it's decent enough for spearhead, uh, enable you to expand your deployment zone if it's not in reserve that is. Uh, please note it doesn't actually have the scout rule, you have to pay points to give it to scout. Um, obviously it's not the best armour, again it's got good stats, um, you know good last stand rating as well. Um, it's probably going to be up against other scout units and it's going to be fairly decent to digging out infantry um you know it's it's gun isn't great at uh, dealing with armor but as a five plus firepower it's a little bit better than using its machine guns okay so now we're on to the panzer three company so the hq is two panzer three one of them has upgraded to a long barrel we then have a mixed tank platoon so four panzer threes in all two of them have long barrels and one of those so sorry Two of them are long barrels, and also one of them is a 7.5 centimeter, um, so that's not too bad. And we also have four Panzer IVs uh, upgraded to long barrel with Panzer II, so probably that combo again for reserves. Um, we have Vesps here, so this is a going out of the Iron Cross book into Ghost Panzers because it's a good artillery unit. I suppose if you want to stick to Iron Cross, um, you've got Nebs you can use, and then you'd have a few points uh, to spend elsewhere. For the spearhead unit, we have a light scout troop again, again with our anti-tank gun and a Penzer Grenadier platoon. This time, we have a 2.8 centimeter anti-tank rifle included. Okay, so we have the Panzer III armor and stat-wise uh, the same as the Panzer IV. Uh, the short five centimeters only anti-tank eight with a four plus firepower. The upgraded version is. 89 one better, but again 4 plus firepower, but if you have a 7.5 centimeter gun, the range is shorter, but it has a better firepower and it has heat, which means your opponent can't add plus one to their armor saves uh, when it's over long range, so a bit better, but it does cost you points and range. Okay, so now we have the Panzer III Up Armoured Tank Company. So the HQ has to be two Up Armoured Panzer Threes. So they do have long uh, five centimetres, but the tank is Up Armoured. We then have a mixed tank platoon. Uh, so we have four short, so it's four Panzer Threes, and one of them is upgraded to long barreled. And then we've got that Panzer IV with long barrels again, and Panzer Twos, and then support the Vesps, the Scouts, the Panzer Grenadier platoon um, with, with the anti tank gun. From with them, um, we only have uh, points left to upgrade one to a long barrel, is because the um, up armored tanks do cost that little bit more. Okay, so this is the up armored Panzer III. It doesn't affect the um, the skill, um, the motivation, and its hit on rating. As you can see, it's just got front armor six now. So that plus one can make a difference. Um, obviously, you know, if you're at long range, that's front seven. So, you know, your British um, 
Valentine's, Crusaders, Honeys are not going to even uh, bail you at that range and you'll have a decent chance against the 18-9 weapons as well. Okay, so now something slightly different to the Africa Corps book. We have the Panzer Grenadier Company. So, um, obviously, we were getting used to short, shorter platoons uh, with the Africa Corps. These guys now are seven teams um, in your regular platoon, and I've given them um, a anti-tank rifle as well. They also have two two-centimeter mortars. Unfortunately, you can't have them more than twos. And then, same again with the 15-centimeter uh, infantry guns. Obviously, the artillery is a bit weedy because you're going to have to re-roll all your um, successful hits, but you still got two templates. We have the return of the Marders, though, in this list in support. Again, with the light scouts, some Stukas, because I had some points spare, and I don't know, just these Panzer fours with the long barrels just keep coming back to me, so they, they're in as well. Um, so they can go in reserve with the Stukas, I suppose, or the 15 centimeter infantry guns if you don't need them. And we have room for pure luck as well. So here we have the German Panzer Grenadier platoon. So they have stormtroopers like the tanks, so you can do two successful um, movement orders in the same turn. Um, plus some infantry savers you'd expect. MG34 teams meaning um, moving they have a rate of fire of two and halted of three. And the optional anti-tank gun, since obviously Panzerfausts aren't around at this point or Panzer Shreks, this is probably going to be um, helping you stave off um, tank assaults. Uh, so the 15 centimeter infantry gun, uh, don't tend to use this much just because the fact you can only have it in units of two. Um, you, there's the 7.5 centimeters that's um, units of four, but costs a bit and it hasn't got the best range. Um, so obviously, careful, confident veteran, good last stand. Obviously, not good in assault because they're um, big guns. Um, very good template with these being 83 and a 2 plus firepower. Uh, honestly, if you had just one extra one, it'd make them so much better. Um, doesn't fire smoke, just remember that. But um, if something does decide to go close range and hasn't got a lot of armor, it's 87 and uh, all beautiful auto firepower. Okay, so now we have a Grenadier company. Uh, so Grenadier platoons can be a little bit bigger, so that's nine um, rifle MG teams. They also have a heavy machine gun equipped that we've selected, or I've selected, and an anti-tank gun. We also have an assault pioneer platoon, which is great because they have MP40s, and they also have two flamethrowers. And this time we can have extra mortars, so we have four 8cm mortars. Again, we see the Marders returning with the Light Scout and the Stuka Panzer IV reserve combo if needed. Okay, so the Grenadier platoon, um, stat wise the same. The only difference you'll find is the um, rate of fire slightly different because they're not MG34 teams, they're MG34 and K98 rifle teams. So halted is two, moving is one. Does make them slightly cheaper, so seven teams is nine points, rather to the Panzer Grenadiers, who seven teams are ten points. So it saves you one point there. But obviously, the big thing with these guys is you can have units of nine, so but that'll cost you twelve points. Um, but it's up to you if you want to sacrifice the rate of fire for um, more infantry and slightly cheaper infantry. It's your call. But remember, you can also attach a heavy machine gun to them as well. It does come at two points but it does give you a weapon that has a, a halted rate of fire of 6. Okay, so probably the best part of the Grenadier um, company is the Assault Pioneers. Now, obviously, as you can see, they haven't got great range because um, the MP40s are only 4-inch range, but they're halted 3, moving 3, so you can continually have that good rate of fire, but if they're pinned, it goes down to 1. Um, looking at their stats, as you remembered, they also have Deadly Assault 2+, plus. And they have the pioneer special rule, so that'll enable them to get through minefields better and dig in better. But the you know the cherry and the icing on the cake for these guys is they have two flamethrower teams. So moving forward with these guys, the flamethrower is great. So it has um, halted and moving rate of fire two, it's auto firepower. And if you hit an infantry gun team with the flamethrower, not only do they have to re-roll successful saves, but they're automatically pinned. And you can also add a heavy machine gun for two points onto this. But they're not cheap. Seven teams with two flamethrowers is 14 points. Personally, I think it's worth it. 
Right, so we're in the build formations now from the command cards. Now, these mid-war books, um, some of them, they don't have a lot of formations in the book. It's more, uh, there's a few extra in the command cards. Um, but there we go. So we have the Armoured Car Company card. So basically, the only difference from this to the Africa Corps one is it's a Panzer Grenadier platoon instead of an Africa Rifle platoon in there. So it makes it slightly better, really. Um, so we have our armor car company, so we have one light uh, SD, KFZ221, that's the HQ. We then have two light troops, which are the same, uh, so it's two and one. So uh, for Africa Corps, you can have four light scout cars, these are maximum three. And then we have one unit of heavy scouts, the, the two FZ231s. So in support, we have the Vesps, the Stukas, the Panzer Fours and a Panzer III mixed tank platoon. So basically we have four with long barrels and three um, are up armoured. So a decent uh, punch from armour there uh, coming in to help you. Okay, so here we have the SDKFZ221 and 222 uh, light scout troop. Um, so I quite like them, especially with the 2.8 centimetre gun attached to them, which comes at no extra cost. Um, and then they can hold their own against other scout cars, but it's the spearhead that uh, provides you with that they get. Um, just remember, guys, they are reluctant, so no super last stand for these guys. Um, but they do have a good remount. Um, but there you go. Overall, I quite like them. Going along with them in this formation, we have the heavy scouts. I tend not to use them over the light scouts because there's only two of them. Now, they do have a little bit better armor, so against other scout units, they do um, hold their own. Um, but, you know, they're, they're still reluctant and they only have the 2 centimeter gun with the MGs. They can't have a 2.8 centimeter. Um, next picture you'll see is the command card to field this formation. It just shows you what you need, um, you know, like um, compulsory units you need and the options you have. Um, but if you have forces and the command card anyway, you, you know this. Okay, so another command card formation here, we have um, a Stug company, so um, not a lot of Stugs because they do cost quite a bit of points. Um, so we have um, the HQ, which is just one Stug, I've all given them long barrels just to give them an extra little punch, and then we have two units of three. So supporting them we have Vesps, Light Scouts, Panzer Threes, and we have an Assault Pioneer platoon. Um, Panzer Threes only have uh, room for three, um, and um, one of them, uh, two of them have long barrels. So the Stug early looks and feels slightly different to the Stugs that we're used to, um, that we'll have in Ghost Panzer and thereafter. Um, armour isn't as good, it's only front five, um, but I suppose mid-war it's the same as all the others and decent enough. It's careful, it's fearless, it's veteran. It does have a 5 plus counter attack and a 4 plus assault. Um, so there we go. Um, obviously, not that quick across the table, uh, but with a long barrel gun, it's 80 10, which makes it fairly decent with a good range. So use them at range, I suppose, against other stuff. 3 plus firepower, it is forward firing. But it's a stug, what you expect, and it doesn't have that many MGs, and it does drop a shot moving as well. I didn't build a formation for this one because it's just basically a Grenadier company that you can have some scout cars with, so it's just going to be a slightly different. We're going to see a lot of this in the Ghost Panzer list build because a lot of form, uh, the builds are just like a slight tweak to a formation in uh, the book, but I thought I'd show you anyway just because you might be interested. Okay, so we didn't see it at all. I or maybe one list had the 8.8 centimeter in the Africa Corps book, um, but we had room to have one or two in uh, some of our lists uh, today. So it's careful, confident veteran, good last stand, terrible, well, four plus assaults are not great, but it's, the gun is massive range, 40 inches, and it's anti tank 14, and the bonus as well, you can even use it as an AA gun if you wanted to. But one of these, um, it means your opponent will have to put a template on it, probably to get rid of it, where you other stuff can be running around. And then it's quite difficult to kill a single unit under a template, because obviously it's just the one dice you're going to be rolling. So it's up to them to sacrifice a template to get rid of it. 
Okay, so as you know, not officially from the Iron Cross book, but the VESP is quite difficult to ignore. So careful, fearless veteran, but it's a mobile artillery unit in a unit of three, so it's a very nice number, so it uh, means you don't have to re-roll your hits. Um, but it's uh, overall good, tend to use them as much as I can. So it's 89 um, direct firing, but you're not firing it direct. It's an artillery unit, it's anti-tank three with a three plus firepower, and it can fire smoke. But if you want to stay true to the book and save you a few points, the, we have the 15 cent, centimeter nebs. I don't tend to use salvo weapons much because um, that template covers so much, you'll always clip terrain. And also, it's uh, danger close is um, longer. So um, once they are down and you're pushing up the table, it won't be long before you have to rearrange in somewhere else. Uh, but they do fire a smoke barrage as well. And finally, we have our beloved Marda back, managed to squeeze his way into a few lists. Now, confident, careful veteran, obviously his open top's not great for counter-attack and assault. Uh, it does have a good last stand, but it's an AT-12 gun with a 3 plus firepower and a very good range. So, um, overall, weight, worth his weight in gold. Obviously, it costs a lot more now in dynamic points, but I think that's fair. Okay, so that's it for Iron Cross now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. It's a bit short, quite brief. Uh, Ghost Panzers will probably be even quicker because there's not that many formations in the book. Um, and it's going to be quite difficult to make some of the formations as you will, we will see when it comes next week. But um, enjoy. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to play some of these lists, please let me uh, know how you uh, did with them.